Hi, my name's Matt Widgery from FramedPlanet.com, the best place on the internet to get your photography, news, reviews and entertainment. So today we're going to be having a look at that age-old and thorny problem of how to get a lovely, perfect white background on your portraits. It may be, for example, that in a situation like this, uh, you want to do a corporate headshot for a website and it's really important that the background isn't just sort of white-ish, but is actually pure 255 white all the way through so that it blends into a white background and kind of looks seamless and all the rest of it. And uh, although this is what uh, many of us are aiming for, in reality, uh, the product that comes out of the camera looks more like this. Um, so this, in actual fact, uh, when I'm doing these uh, corporate headshots, I tend to use a pop-up reflector, which uh, has a, it, it kind of makes a, a, a white-ish background. Um, I, can, I can bounce some light off it and kind of brighten it up to a certain extent. But, you know, inevitably you get these wrinkles and bits and pieces in it. And so it never looks quite, you know, as white and as crisp and as perfect as does the um, as does the studio backdrop that I've got here. So is this a big problem? Is this a, a junk shot? Am I, am I completely and utterly screwed? No, there is definitely a way to do it. As you can see very easily, um, I got to that and it didn't take me very long to do it. Um, it was a very quick Photoshop action and I shall show you how to do that now. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is open this up in, in Photoshop. So we would go edit in and edit in Photoshop. However, I'm not going to do that because when I'm recording using QuickTime and doing the screen record, it just takes forever to load up. So I've cheated and preloaded this picture up into Photoshop here. So the first thing we've got to do is isolate the bit of the photo that we want to uh, to paint white. We're actually going to be painting this straight on using a brush tool. So um, we've got to make a selection around, around Luke. That's this uh, chap here, a um, good friend of mine. If you need uh, building uh, tenders, then that's what he uh, does, his his company. Um, they, they collect building tenders. So if you go to buildmomentum.com, uh, you, um, you can do that if that's your trade. So first of all, we're going to make a selection around here. If you hit W, that's going to bring up the quick selection tool for your, um, for your, your uh, quick selection brush here. Um, so if we're just going to do a very quick uh, selection around here. And you can see just how quick uh, this is. Um, and this is the reason, by the way, that um, I still do recommend uh, having some kind of a backdrop there rather than just letting them, you know, stand wherever because it's a hell of a lot easier to make a selection around the outside of somebody if, if there's not like all stuff in the background. You can do it, it just takes a hell of a lot longer. And the trick to this is it's a really quick technique. So we're going to make a very quick selection around him. We're then going to um, use another shortcut to bring up the, uh, the, the the refine edge tool to refine this selection a little bit more. Because at the moment, if I just cut that out, um, it would kind of cut off all his hair and his ears would look a little bit chewy and it just kind of it would look that kind of photoshopped thing. And what we're trying to do is is make it look like he was just stood in front of a really plain background. So we're going to do um, on the Mac, it's Command Alt and R on the uh, on the PC, it's Command Option and R. Uh, so we're going to hit those, and that's going to bring up our Refine Edge uh, menu here. And the first thing we're going to do is, is deal with hair. Now, in the case of my good buddy Luke, he doesn't have a huge amount of hair, but he still does have some. If we zoom in, um, you'll, you'll be able to see that you know obviously the selection tool has made a very rough job at trying to get around sort of the the, the top of his head there um, it, it's obviously more noticeable if you've got somebody with long hair and it's kind of fly away and things like that um, it's just not done a good job with that quick selection of, of going around that in any way so what we're going to be doing is um, is just telling uh, the selection by literally just painting on it here um, how to how to deal with those outer edges of, of where the selection is and so if we paint on literally just very finely on the edge here and then give it a time to think, you can see all these little hairs are now going red and that means they're now going to be included in the selection. It's really clever and it just makes life so much easier to kind of deal with. So we're going to very quickly go around this, uh, just literally around the very outsides. And this is the most time consuming bit, really. And it's not that time consuming uh, at all. Even if you've got somebody with long hair and a lot of flyaway, it's actually surprisingly quick, really, to do all this. Um, I'm, I also like to go around just like the very edges of, of like the ears and things like that, just because, believe it or not, we do have little hairs on the edges of our ears. And so anything that it picks up on, it just adds that air of that naturalness, you know, makes it look more, more natural. And again, because it's got a bit of stubble there, it's going to going to pick up on the edges of that. It's also going to do just a better job at just finding the, the line of the edge of that jacket as well. So um, I'm going to go around this other ear as well. And it's just, it, it's telling it 
where those edges are, what to look for. You don't have to be particularly neat um, on this. You don't want to go too far inboard um, because what it can do is make it a little bit transparent and then you get uh, the white will start to come through um, and it will look like it's kind of like a little bit of glowing, that, that sort of glowing background you get when you've overlit a backdrop. We don't want to have that type of effect at all. So um, that's it. That's really all, all there is um, to, to that. You can see literally how quick that is and that is done now and that was the hardest thing we had to do. So we're going to click OK to that. Um, it's hit B to bring up our brush tool. Um, we've got a nice uh, 255 white selected here. Uh, we're going to make the brush nice and big. Uh, we're going to have it at 100% hardness up here. We're going to have 100% opacity. We're going to have 100% flow. And we're literally we're just going to paint inside this selection box. And we can be as quick as we, we like with it because it's not going to, um, you can see how slow my computer is when it's doing all these different actions at the same time. Um, and you can see you physically can't paint over when that selection's on. It's only going to allow you to be inside this selection in around uh, the outside of Luke's head. I can't paint over the rest of it. So that's literally it. So if we now hit Command and D to deselect, we can now see uh, what we've come up with. And if we zoom in now uh, to... Uh, a, uh, a bit where you can see like the edges a little bit more. You can see at the top of his head, all of these little hairs um, have been taken into consideration um, all along here. Uh, I'm just doing this so you can see a pointer rather than anything else. I'm not doing any other actions. I'm literally done. So um, so that's it. So all the little hairs around the outside of his head are uh, are included. Um, you can even sort of come into here and you can see like the sort of like little bits of lint and fuzz on his jacket around stubble and things like that. So even if you've got somebody with long hair and flyaway hairs, all of that is going to be included in your image. And that is literally as quick as it is so it took even explaining it it only took a couple of minutes um but you can bang those out so fast and get really professional backdrops so that's it if you enjoyed this content please subscribe using the button that's on screen now and i'll see you all again soon cheers